Hi, my audience. I just realized that I never went live on my business page. So I'm sorry if some of you were waiting. By mistake, I went live on both my devices on my personal page. So I'm going to redo the eye exercises video for those of you who are watching or were waiting on my business page. page I apologize. I will be here tomorrow at 10.30. I'll make sure that I go live here. So once again, we're building on to eye exercises part two. You will need to watch part one for the ground rules. And very short, if you have any eye problems or eye conditions, make sure you consult your doctor before you do this. So just like yesterday, I'm gonna scooch back. My hands are gonna be straight in front of me. We're gonna be looking at the tip of the thumb, always moving um, only the eyes. We're not going to be moving the neck or the face. All right, so let's begin. Today, we're gonna to be moving up and down. Once again, I'm sorry, I forgot to go live on my uh, business page. I went live on both my personal pages. So I'm redoing this on my business page. Let's begin looking at the tip of the thumb, only moving your eyes. Where today we're just going to go up as far up as we can go. And you will stop where you feel you've reached your maximum range, where you feel like your eyes are stretched enough, but they're not overly uncomfortable. And we'll pause there and we will look at the tip of the thumb for 10 seconds. And whenever you feel the absolute need to blink your eyes, do blink, but do your best to extend the blinking range in between the gaps as much as possible. Now I'm gonna turn my thumb upside down and I'm going to keep moving my thumb down. I'm only moving my eyes, looking at the tip of the thumb while I move my hand. I'm gonna go as further down as possible and my eyes are following the thumb. They're tracking it and I pause where I felt I reached my maximum range. After 10 seconds, you're going to put your thumb up, come back to the center. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the likes. Let's do this one more time. Hand going up, eyes are tracking the tip of the thumb as far up as you can go. Do not move your neck or your face. And sometimes I second guess myself. I feel like I'm moving my face, but when I look in the mirror, I'm not. So it needs a little bit of practice to get it right. Don't judge yourself if you don't get it completely right. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Now I'm going further down. My thumb was turned down if you didn't see it. I'm gonna go all the way down, tracking the tip of my thumb. I'm gonna stop where I've reached my maximum range. Pause for 10 seconds. My eyes are still looking at the tip of the thumb. When I'm ready, after 10 seconds, turn my thumb up and then bring it back to the center at my eye, at the nose level. So that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be completing or culminating all the eye exercises. I'm gonna be showing you four more um, exercises for the eyes. And as a whole, when you're doing eye exercises, you put day one to day three of my eye exercises together. And that's the full range of exercises, which will cover the different muscles and you know whatever, I don't know the technical terms for it. Uh, but we have to do the cool down. So let's do a cool down. We're gonna rub our hands like yesterday, cup our eyes for 15 seconds. Now, if you're doing the entire range of exercises, you want to cup your eyes for 30 seconds. It'll feel extremely cooling. Now, remember, do not put pressure over your eyes. You're just cupping around your eyes, like creating a darkness, lack of stimulation for your eyes, basically. When you're ready, I'm uncupping my eyes now. I, I'm opening my eyes. Now we're gonna do the pressure points around your eyes using your two fingers. We're gonna put pressure around the circumference of the eyes, making like a giant circle and massaging it. You're massaging the muscles around your eyes. So that's one starting from the tip center of the nose. And then you're going outward over your eyebrows, around the outside of the eyebrows and down to the upper cheekbone and then back to your nose and then the other direction. So do that three times. You can do that even in a faster motion. Not overly fast, but fast enough to get a massage and also don't feel rushed. After the three of these, we're gonna be tapping in the same circular motion. So just tap, tap, tap. Tapping is excellent for activating 
are awakening our muscles, our body also helps it to release stress. Maybe I'll make a video on the tapping solution, which we commonly use in life coaching. So very, it's a very good stress buster. And that's it. And tomorrow I'm going to add more of the cooling exercises also for your eyes, a full range of, we're going to add more of those other things that all of this that I learned in school. I'm so lucky to be in India where we were taught yoga as a part of our curriculum. I went to a very good school, so I'm grateful for that. Now do stay around if you want to hear about uh, the coronavirus video that I have made in the past explaining astrologically every detail I had explained of why it started, when it started, when will it end. I'd, I had made a long, long video on it um, and what does it mean spiritually, why is this happening at this time. However, for those of you who haven't accessed that video. Uh, it's interesting that I sp speak a lot about Shiv and that particular video Facebook would not let me download. For some reason I'm not able to put it on my YouTube and I think there's a reason for that. It's like the you know the spirits, the guides, uh, including because I talk a lot about Shiv and Durga and that they're not allowing me to put it and I it was right for me not to have it out in the public. It's only meant for people who are hearing it on my platform. So I'm going to make a very, very short video right after this one explaining the astrological significance of when can you expect relief with coronavirus. And one more thing I wanted to mention is it's interesting how our guides are always there. I was so busy working today and I usually scramble to get on time for my daily mindfulness series and I'm late or I'm not organized enough. And today I was I kept pushing it subconsciously. I'm saying, yeah, next five minutes I'll get up and I'll prepare myself. But then I have my spirits. I live alone. But then the guides, uh, they do this every now and then. They just took some things, a bunch of utensils in my kitchen, and they like moved them. They almost like made it fall. And there was a loud sound. And I'm like, because I communicate with my angels. And I'm like, okay, you're getting my attention. I know, but I'm upset that you're you're interfering when I'm working. I was talking to them and they made that sound again. They're like, get up and get ready. So I did get ready on time for my video, but then I forgot to go live on my Facebook uh, business page. So that's why I'm making the business page video a little bit later today. Tomorrow, I'll make sure that I'll make it on time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you later.